three and two and one. I don't know. I guess it's best to start this with Psalms 83. Hopefully by the end all will make sense. Psalms 83. Keep not thou silent, O God. Hold not thy peace. Be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. They that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. They cannot touch him. He is untouchable. You, on the other hand, you are within their reach, within their, their grasp. And because they hate him, hate. They despise you. And they have consulted against thy hidden ones. So the hidden ones are the fallen angels that were locked away and hidden from everyone. And their judgment was to watch their children be destroyed by their own children. They're to be in prison, chained up, and to watch their seed rip each other to part. They have said, as their counsel, come, this is their decree. Let us cut them off from being a nation. This is why you have a black community that doesn't care about you. This is why your hair is black. Your skin is not black, but you have been talked into calling yourself black, which limits your rights. There's no such thing as black people, especially in law. They have stopped you from being a nation. That the name Israel may no more be in remembrance. Now you pick any name. You pick Bowling Alley. Everybody has an image of a Bowling Alley. You pick this monument or that monument. Everybody has an idea what it is. You say Germans, and people have been trained to say, well, these people are associated with German today. You say Europe, and these people have been associated with Europe today. When you say Israel, the same people that are in Europe, are the same people that are said to be in Israel. If you play yourself a game of black and white and you say, okay, white people are in Europe today, no, well, that is the same. If you sit there and say, I want to see Israel as a nation, they will show you images of what we are taught to call white people. Everybody watches screens. Screens are no different from flashcards. Everybody has been trained to cut you off from being a nation. So it doesn't matter what you say to people. Oh, I'm this, oh, I'm this. All they're going to say is, no, you're just some dumb black idiot that doesn't know who you are. Even if you sat there and said, I am this ethnicity and you were correct, they're just brain trained like monkeys, like pigeons, just to say, no, you're just some dumb nigga. They have consulted together with one consent. They have one goal. Their goal isn't to be rich. It's not to be powerful. It's not for this. It's not for that. That all comes along. The world has been handed over to the wicked. This comes along with the package to get rid of you. As nations, they came together.
with their armies, with their navies. They tore us apart. They took the women one way. They took the men another way. They took the girls a different way. They took the boys a completely different way. Would this be better? They took the women to the north. They took the men to the south. They took the boys to the east. They took the girls to the west. Four corners of the earth. You were taken away from each other so you would never have the opportunity to find somebody that looks exactly like you and reproduce a copy that would be an Israelite. Who has done this? It is the Tabernacles of Edom. Now, you got a bunch of people out there that sit there and say, we are the Israelites, we're in Bible camps, and we serve a different God, and they tell you that Edom is what you call the white man. Which makes no, no sense. Because the term white is a bucket that they just pour ethnicities in. They pour in any ethnicity that is not you. Mexicans are white. Spanish are white. Latins are white. Everybody's white except for you. The Tabernacles of Edom. Why can't you find them? Because they're right here with you. The Tabernacles of Edom. Ishmael. Why can't you find them? Because they're right here with you. You know who this is? I'd like to guess. I mean, it's not going to be healthy. But I think this is just the Mormons. Just like those books said. Maybe they're not. Does it matter? Whomever they are, their face is hidden, and they hate you. They are grouped together with one, as themselves, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hmm, ten. Oh, wow. Now, Moab and Ammon are right there, so anybody else that's a child of Lot that's not brought up besides Moab and Ammon, they, they're being helped by the Persians, Asher. So yeah, I figured out why it say, Ahia, Asher, Ahia. Asher is an Astroth. Asher is Hadad. And Hadad has another name. <clears throat> mm. Don't worry about that Zeus shit. It's all fake. There's, there's a fucking name right there. That's what's that's what's tricking us. It's the nations united and they changed the names and they added a bunch of stupid shit. It's about level of pyramids, pyramids of knowledge. They didn't come to America and name anything Israelite. They didn't come to America and name anything Hebrew. The crafty council came and named it all Hebrew so you'd never fucking want to leave. So when they get destroyed because prophecy says so, you're here with them. Like a security blanket. Linus. So... Huh. 
they have helped the other children of Lot. Do unto them as the Midianites, as to Caesarea, as to Jobin, as to the brook of Kizron. Now, it took me a while to get to the point I understand some of what that sentence says. Those are, I believe, four different situations. The Midianites are one situation, and we're going to read about those today. Caesarea, Jabin, something different. And the brook at Kishon, I believe that's something different. Now, we will learn how the tabernacles are working together. So, I've been doing some research on the book of Jashir and where the trails or extensions go. And the extent, it's, it's all, it's all to trick the reader. All these places are not far from each other. We're being told they're spread out all over the place and they're not. And uh, when we get to the book of Jashir chapter 60, I'll explain uh, everything that I found. But when you get to the end, it's going to leave you in confusion. It left me in confusion, you know, and I had to take another direction. And then I found the answers that I was looking for to Psalms 83. So it was only by studying the other that I got my my picnic basket filled on the, on the other. All right. So what we're going to do is they don't want to admit where Deneba is. And Gies is the king of Africa. So the question is, where is Deneba? And To find, to find Dinaba, you got to find the king of Edom. To find the king of Edom, you have to go back to the beginning. So, we get on the great space coaster, and we go to the beginning, and we're looking for who the kings of Edom are, because this is the secret to all of it. And then when you find out who the king of Edom is, everything else falls apart. And that's when you realize it's all a fucking lie. There's no, re you know, there's no easier way to say it. There's, there's no ethical way to say it. Uh, it's all a lie. All of it. There is no Zeus. There isn't, like, yeah. There are no Greek gods. I'm sure most people knew and understand that when we read the Bible and Mosai says you're worshiping things that are not gods. But we're gonna we're gonna prove it now. Man. And then we're gonna move on because it's just fucking ten years of waste. Bjor. We gotta start with Bjor. Um <laughs> So Bjor is their daddy. A burning. Is a name that appears in relation to a King Bella, son of Bjor, a diviner, meaning a uh, witch or a wizard, 
or which doctor this is the earliest it's gonna be so whatever you want to call this person fine whatever because the two names vary only a single letter scholars have hypothesized that the two refer to the same one so when it says son of so again you can see your scholars are not scholars you can see there is no scholarship it is what it is a crafty council that has put limitations on what you are allowed to know if you can see through it they can't help that they put all their money into this and this is why every step of the way they, they, they want to deny it every time they're going to tell you the truth they're going to deny it right afterwards but they have to tell you the truth in a list of kings of Edom in Genesis 36 31 shows you Bella is son of Beor so some scholar saying that they're the same is an idiot he is a hired clown to say shit now you go you go on the subject of Bella son of Beor and some Israelite tells you they're the same he bought the bullshit he bit their 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 worm on a hook It was one of the kings of Edom who reigned before there reigned any kings over the children of Israel. So, Bella, son of Beor, is listed the first eight kings. First of the eight kings, the same information in Genesis is repeat, repeated in Chronicles. Bal, Balaam son of Beor appears in a well-known story in numbers where he is asked to curse the Israelites but repeatedly blesses them instead what does he bless them with mm. later he is killed for attempting for tempting the Israelites to sin so he blessed them with pussy yeah, you fucking heard me. I'm tired of putting up this fake facade. He blessed him with fucking pussy. He put a curse. The curse didn't work. So he said, I'll try something different. He cursed the Midianite women to come and fucking flaunt themselves in front of the Israelites. That's what he did. Later, he's killed for attempting for tempting the Israelites in this sin. He has mentioned the passing of Deuteronomy in the passage which repeats a synonymous excuse me synopsis excuse me of earlier biblical stories Beor the father of Balaam Balaam is considered a prophet by Judaism ain't no Israelites calling him no fucking prophet that is the nations in control of your books calling him such a prophetic prophet because he showed them how to knock you off your horse. Flaunting dirty pussy in front of you. Yeah, I said it. Now, the Talmud. Now, read this sentence again. Read this sentence slowly and adjust a few things and you'll understand what Judaism is. All right? The Talmud, wait, let's start over, is considered a prophet by Judaism in the Talmud. Now you see what's going on? That's the book that was altered. That's your book being altered to enslave you in Babylon. Do you think your book been altered to enslave you in America? Sitting there like a child picking his nose, huh? Eyes wide open. Tower of Babel in America. Judah in America. Judah went into enslavement in Edom. How could Judah have been in America? Hmm? 
what are the real names of the states? The slate, the states slightly differ from their original name. I'm in Ohio. What do you think that stands for? The heart of it all. Ohio. Hiya. Talmud says in Baba. Is that Papa? See, this is why I say, what the fuck is a rabbi? These are not our words. We've been taught English. Why can't we uh, anglicize? That's what it is. English is anglicized. Talk like angels. All they want to tell you, oh, angel talk is this, or angel talk is that. But mm, angelicized is English. Don't nobody realize that? They just keep saying nonsense. And everybody's just on a pyramid that they just accepted. Seven prophets prophesied to the heathen, namely Balim and his father. Who are the seven prophets? Namely, Balim and his father, right? Now, those are evil, wicked people, right? So they're, be, they're being called prophets, right? So, again, if you go into Greek, the Israelites didn't have prophets. They had oracles. But, again, who's writing this shit? Greek and Romans? Now they're calling the pagans, right? Anybody of another nation that, 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 that happens to say the word of God or a curse that's been brought about or a curse that will be now they're prophets okay Eliphaz the Tiamite Bildad the Shuhite Zophar the Naamashite and Elu Elihu the son of Barishel, the Buzite. In King James, translation of Second Peter, which is just Greek bullshit, Bior is called Bozor. Bowser, or Bolser. Bosor. <coughs> In <coughs> the Bach. Baghdadi historian Al Musumtin said that his book Meadows of Gold and Mines of Gems that Balaam Ben Beor was a village in the land of Shem, which is the land of Canaan. So, uh, I want you to think about that. They made a village to him a long time ago. Uh, everybody else was building cities. They made a village to him. Okay? And he is the son of Bora or Beor. So now they give us two different names for him. Ben Suan, Ben Wasim, Ben Moab, Ben Lot, Ben Haran. So right there. You have the bloodline of them. From Haran to Lot, Ben Moab, Ben Ammon. Son of, son of. Right? So, even though there's two daughters, they're saying Moab is the son of... Oh, oh, I'm adding Ammon. Excuse me. They're just saying Moab, son of Lot. So, they're telling you, Beor, or Bowser, Whatever, however you want to spell it, for now. That's that motherfucker's laugh, man. Wow, Ed. Now it makes sense why you packed up and took your channel down and took your information down. Oh, goddamn. Son of Bowser. Well, 
So he is the son of Beor, son of Moab, son of Lot. So right now, we don't even have, I can't fucking believe that. We don't even have to continue with the video. Uh, we know right now that it's Moabite. So Edom, the king, or the first king of Edom, was Moab. So when we go into the book of Jashir and they start leaving things out, who is Ngia's father? Oh, we don't know. Okay. Who is Ngia's people? Oh, we don't know. They're just the Africans of Ben, uh, Dinaba. Africans of Dinaba. Oh, okay. So, here, long story short, this more, let's do this. I know it's hard for people to see, I know. Uh, more mer mer okay all right this is moab more mer mir mir that's all edom so there's a hierarchy here we go. So it would go like this. You have the king of Moab at top as a hierarchy. Underneath the king of Moab would be the council. Remember, Moab, I mean, e Edom's whole point was, let not another Edomite be king over us. Let us get a king from another nation so that he will have our counsel, he will fight our battles, he will solve our arguments. So first is Moab. That's the king. No other Moabites are important at that point. Then comes the council, the secret council that I didn't write in. Then comes the people. So the secret council is what we've been covering, the nobility. So when you have Rome and you have Roman nobility or black nobility, that's all Edom. Now, if the king of Edom is a Moabite, then is the king's family important? Well, of course. Because the king wants his son so he can have a son to rule. So that means everybody from the king's family is then nobility too. So that's the, no, the Moabite king family would be nobility and the Edomite family or families of nobility. Then below that, you would have the people of Moab and the people of Edom that just weren't that important. They were just the bloodline. Now, that matters when you sit there and you do something between another nation and it goes sour and you want to go to war because then you got to go get the people. Now, you're not dealing with one people. You're dealing with the people of Moab and you're dealing with the people of Edom. So, again, let's set all that aside. Now, let's come into this time, this moment. Hey, fam, black power, all that shit. Now, the Most High told you, because Lot's daughter slept with him, their children would show inbred traits. Now, it never says the children of Edom took any of the Israelites. It says the children of Moab took the women, the daughters of Zion. If the children of Moab took the daughters of Zion, don't that mean the daughters of Zion is with Edom too? Remember you watched the movie Boomerang? And he looked down at her toes. And he said, I don't want me a woman with crooked toes. Because it's a genetic flaw. That's what this is all about. 
to them. See, how is Edom not exhibiting the power of the Most High when he sits there and says, I want perfection so I can place my seed in it. It's all been a trick. It's all been a lie to sit you on a platter and make you think you're around your own people. So you put out for them. That's why you always see the biggest, darkest dude whose skin color still ain't black. Talking that Willie Lynch shit, and as soon as he's done trying to punk down somebody that's light skinned or yellow, he'll go get himself the light skin bra. Now, does that make sense? You can talk shit to people on the level of Willie Lynch. And then when you're done with your manhood situation, you go go back and you grab yourself a womb that's yellow, just like the yellow people you was just... So that should show you there is no Willie Lynch. Excuse me, it's, it's, it's a Moabite in the Edomite. The Edomite has control over the Bible camps. The, Bi the Bible camps sitting there constantly telling you that Edom is white. Okay, so it says, and his praise, prayers, they forgot the R-E-R-S, right? E-R. Uh, they were answered to his folks, asked him to pray against Joshua then none joshua son of none but he could not do it so it was advised so he advised some kings of the giants some of the kings of the giants to show the pretty women and release them towards the camp of joshua son of none and they did so so look at what is said here he advised some of the kings of the giants to show the show pretty women and release them towards the camp. Okay, so there's some things being left out of this, and they'll, they'll come up later. It's not that they were pretty women. It was women. It was women who taught the Israelites to do wickedness. They're making it sound like in this section, because again, this is going to connect to something else later. That's not to say every woman of Midian is pretty. No, they were wicked because they were instructed. They were given instructions. And it's, this is why I said right here, that he advised some of the kings of the giants to show the pretty women, to show them what? and release them towards the so it wasn't they're they're twisting that to make it sound like oh there was pretty women and they, and they that's almost to say mm, your contract with god is to have ugly women it, it, it becomes ridiculous it has nothing to do with that it has to do with the heart of the person right <laughs> whether they're a good tent peg or not right <sighs> so we go over here it says, he released them towards the camp of Joshua, son of Nun, and so they did, and they, the Israelites, hurried up to the women, and a, pre a plague spread among them. It's not necessarily how it happened. Something's being left out. And 70,000 Israelites ended up dead. All men, because they were chasing right? women. And we'll get to it in a little bit to see what the women were doing. Beor may be the Baal of Mount Peor in the heresy of Peor and may have influenced the demon Bel Feor, Bel Peor. So if you're not understanding what's what's being said. Once he died, all of a sudden there was this demon that popped up, and the demon's name is Bel Fior. Right? And that's what his claim to look like. 
And you see how it looks very Asiatic, right? So let's go further. Let's see. Should we go to the heresy of pure, heresy of pure right? And that's going to take us to number 31. So let's just go to number 31. And we'll scroll up to the top. Now, this is where they're going to start releasing some of the bullshit. Oh, some of it's good. Uh, some of it's fraudulent. And we're going to skip over the fraudulent. So I don't want to waste a bunch of time. Number 31. Book of Numbers. Fourth book in the Torah. Now again. You got a lot of people that say Torah only. They don't teach any of this. So there's only five books. If you're Torah only and you're not teaching, what exactly are you teaching? You're going over the same old lessons that came down from the Bible camps to water you down. These are Edomites and Moabites in control of your book teaching you lies. This is why Bakar has bulgy eyes. Sitting there telling you it's okay to worship Christ, but the Ten Commandments is a contract to not serve any other gods. You see, that's to, ugh. And it's a sacred text, and the scholars, uh, they call it the war against Midian. All right, so Numbers 31, set in the southern Transjordanian region. Now, we already know that's not in the Transjordanian region. They are pretending it's there. They want you to think it is Africa. Dinaba! You belong to Dinaba! That's what they want you to think. Right? But when we go to Transjordanism or whatever it is, I think the word is... See how we keep looking up at Asia and Transoxiana? Keeps coming up with uh, I forgot if it was Prater or Lavar or uh, one of the one of the men in the comments keeps stating that he thinks it's the Stan countries, right? And again, these Stan peoples uh, are most likely the land of Canaan. That's why they just put Stan at the end. And of course, it's right next to right the east. So they went towards the east. They again. They, you see that Kur Kurashan, and it's just Haran with San Hurasan, right? Chorasan, right there. That's that's just Haran, right? What's this dude's your dad's name? Give me a second. Right. All right. See, angelus highs means we don't spell shit this way they spell shit, but it's the exact equivalent. How do these people spell that? Oh, it doesn't matter. We spell it this way. Well, how do we know it's not Harashan or something like that? Somebody whitewashed it so it's just a Haran. The, the way we say it today, you it, it doesn't even, you know, H-R-N, you know. So, sets off in the southern regions of Jordan and Midian. Again, uh, Moab and Midian, excuse me. That is to say, all these people are in what they call the Levant, right? All these people are right, just stacked up. On that. I mean, and we didn't even see Midian was there. That's add another cup to that area stacked on top of each other of people warring for the fucking exact same resources. That becomes ridiculous. This narrates how an army of Israelite soldiers commanded by Phineas, commissioned by Moses and Phineas' father, El Eleazar, waged a war against the Midianites, killing all the men and the boys, including their five kings, taking all the livestock, all the women, all the girls. Now, do you see this as a pattern? 
men, boys, women, girls. This is the same thing that happened to us. All they're doing is using what we did against them. They're using it against us. And what do they do? Moses instructed the soldiers to kill all the women who had ever had sex with a man. So they don't want the boys. They don't want the men. They don't want the women who have experienced penis. So they just want the virgins. So this is what happens. And to keep the women and the girls who were still virgins for themselves, the spoils of war. So again, the booty is the real spoil of war. It's not the fucking gold. It's not the silver. It's not their land. It's not. It's the fucking vagina, the womb inside. And what are they doing? If we can't be God's children, then no one will have any children. Don't they make movies about that? They went from Sin City to what? No children? Huh? They went from what? Sin City, right? Now, Sin City sucked so bad, they had to say, we're going to get rid of somebody. who they get rid of? Right? And Sin City is Clive Owens. So Clive Owens, when they give one of these guys a movie, they think they're going to be a big payout, right? Because what? The wild look, the wild look, but then you get this, and they're like, oh, fuck. So they gave him, what do they do? They always give you two movies when you're on the spotlight, right? And it's children of men, right? Totally wrong person to have here, huh? And what is children of men? We can't have any more babies, right? War is breaking out. It's the fuck, it's the book of Revelation. It's their attempt at the book of Revelation. Right? So they kept the girls who were still virgins as the spoils of war, right? I mean, think about it. children of men while wow, they're sitting there in war, acting like children with bullets. Mm -hmm. Just throwing bullets at each other. Not even, fuck, we're in a condition we can't have any more children. We might exterminate each other. Well, fuck, I'm grabbing a gun and shooting, right? Does that even make any sense? Don't you see the brainwashing they're doing? When society falls apart and we can't have any more children, what you need to do is arm yourself and kill people so you can make yourself, why? The last man. That's an X-Men book. So you read one book and it goes to, right? So one book is Revelation this, the next book is Revelation that, and the next book is the next... What's the what's the movie where they say all the people are fucking killed and it's two pieces of shit that can't even shoot a, 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 a spear correctly into a dragon? Hmm? Matthew McShittake and some other, right? What, Bain, uh, Bail? Christianity's bailing out? Hmm? I'm Batman. Oh, I'm Batman. Man, the most demonic voice you... Oh, I'm Batman. I fucking love that shit, right? <laughs> Can Spider-Man come out and play? Because I want to put my foot in his fucking face. Always to trick you with the wrong situation. If this situation happens, you should do this and destroy yourselves. That's what all this is. Much scholarly and religious controversy exists surrounding the authorship. Have anybody in your so-called black community ever said, is anybody that's, what do they say that? They're Torah only. Anybody Torah only ever say there's a problem with number 31? Just the Gentile. That say you don't exist. Right? So this, if they have utter control over you, you don't have a nation, an army, a capital. You don't have a fucking medical facility. You're all dependent on them. Then what is this for? 
This is to make other people believe the shit's all fake. Everything in the book is fake. A majority of modern biblical scholars believe that the Torah, the five books of Genesis, uh, reached his present form after the exile. Based on pre-existing written and oral traditions, the scholars don't have access to oral traditions. Do you know who has access to oral traditions? Your interrogator. He who is about to kill you can ask you anything, and you can choose if you're going to tell or not. As well as contemporary geographical, see how they do that? Oh, it's next to Africa. We can't find anything to prove it was here. It's all a lie. You see the game. And political realities. You see, they never use the word reality. You need to think about this. <clears throat> An S right there says Israelite. Numbers is a priestly redaction of non-priestly origin. Now, isn't that interesting? No, the book of Numbers is about priests, but it's not written by priests. So saith the Gentile. Okay. Scholars generally recognize that mention oh my god that mentions recognize that mentions of the midianites in numbers 22 now they didn't start off this is what's in numbers one this is in one numbers 10 right they wanted to focus directly on remember this is called numbers 31 this isn't called the fucking war of the midianites the title doesn't lie to skip the whole fucking book and go right to this is where the Midianites were destroyed. It kind of shows where the mentality of this writer is. So it encourages me to read this so that when the writer lies, it stands out. It's cute. Do you even call it that? All right, so now they're going to argue over who wrote it, and it's it's all bullshit. The background, one through five, is tracing the origins of the Midi uh, Israelite Midianite conflict to chapters twenty two and twenty five. So you can see they trying to they're supposed to be telling you about one and five, but they still focus on the Midian shit. Again, whoever wrote this. Their heart is on their sleeve. They can't stop fucking crying. <clears throat> the Israelites traveling from Egypt encamped on the eastern bank of the Jordan River across from Jericho. Now remember, Jericho is not going to be in Utah like I taught 10 years ago because I didn't know any fucking better because that's the level of intelligence I had on the subject. This is why I laugh when Marcus steals all the information and it's of a lower thought. It's of a lower thought. And so now, by accident, all these viewers that come watch his material are actually watching my material that's actually all wrong. Because I bit the dick on, it's here, it's here, it's here. And I didn't sit there and read that the promise is that you will be taken back to the land of Abraham. So it can't be here and we just trampling on it and he just going to move us two feet when the whole earth is his footstool. So when I destroyed all those videos because I realized there was some shit that didn't seem right. And I kept telling everybody, it's not true, it's all lies. And then I watch, year after year, people keep saying, it's in this, it's in the West, it's in the West, it's in the West. Fine, think it's in the West, think it's in America, I don't care anymore. I made that mistake. 
someone stole it from me and reached viewers I didn't reach. So now they believe what I said eight to ten years ago. Uh. And this is why I say when you watch other people it's on you. This is why I say if you watch other people and they teach you this or that, don't fucking call me asking about what they taught. For one, what you're asking me to do now is watch somebody else's material. And then you're asking me to watch somebody else's material and break it down to see if it's legitimate. No, you should have thought about that before you watched them at all. That's like going and buying a product, eating it for a year. It turned your body poison and then saying, do you think this is good for me? That's ridiculous. No different when I sit here and tell you chicken is hybrid. It is a created fucking thing. The, 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 the chicken we eat today for mass production. The chickens that the most high created has five fingers on it. You say, fuck you, you turn off the video, and you order a goddamn chicken dinner, and you have some motherfucker deliver it to you. Why should I keep doing this? Why? People don't change. People don't want to change. Stay in the system. So Jericho is not in America. It's in fucking Asia. I did the Jordan River. The Jordan River is the Yellow River. So it's on the east bank, right? No, it's on the west. It's across. So if they camped on the east, the Jer Jericho's on the west side of the Yellow River. And the Moabite king, Balak, hired the sorcerer Balaam to curse the Israelite soldiers from the peak of Mount Peor. But the Israelite God, Yahweh, so now they're going to keep on saying Yahweh. It doesn't take much to go in and say the Lord thy God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Well, let's just do it then. When we sit here and we go to Exodus. Exodus 20. Now, all right, sorry about that. I knew something was wrong. It's Exodus 3, excuse me, Exodus chapter 3, burning bush, right? We go down here. Now, in 12, and he said, certainly I will be with thee, and this shall be a token unto thee that I have sent thee. So what did he give him? He gave him a mark on his hand. Right here in his pinky. The token. The, how can you tell? Because later in Exodus he says, the token I put on your hand. A token is something you place in something. If he gave him a token, he placed it inside of him. So it would be represented on his flesh. He didn't give him a card, a banner, a coin. He gave him the symbol of a digit, which is the opposite, actually. It's the opposite because it has no bone. A sixth finger starts in the joint of the wrist. That's how you bend your fingers. He gave him a symbol, a token on the side of his finger to show you are the one that fights the giants. No matter what size they are. Whether they're an army 
for a massive man. When thou hast brought forth the people out of Egypt, ye shall serve God upon this mountain. And Moses said unto God, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, and shall say unto them, The God of your fathers has sent me unto you, they shall say to me, What's his name? And I shall say to them, Huh? What? And God said to Moses, I am that I am. Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am hath sent me unto you. And God, or at I am, and I am said moreover unto Moses, thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, the Ishi Elohim of your fathers, I am the Eloah, the highest host, the Elohim of Abraham, the Elohim of Isaac, the Elohim of Jacob, hath sent me unto you. And this is my name forever. As GOC would say, Brother Lawyer, when does forever end? And Brother Lawyer would be like, never. <laughs> they got some cold shit. But they still serve a false god. And this isn't about admiring men or admiring men's teachings. It's about the truth. Because our soul lieth on the edge of a blade to fall either way. Anybody you see saying, yah, 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 is a fucking lie. Is a devil. You were never told to call the Most High by any, you were not even supposed to call him the Most High. That's not his name to his people. His name to his people is I Am. Y-H-W-H, any of that shit is just, is Babylonian heathenism. That's all it is. Don't you hear that bitch in the porn with her fucking leg wrapped around? Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! The fuck are you doing, Israel? You're mimicking the nations with the playbook that they set for you to fail. What's that song about the river? And it's actually, they're setting it up so it's the river of lava. They want you to burn with them. And what is God going to say on Judgment Day? I put you in the future, and you had every attempt to read and study. Instead, you went with wickedness, you jerked your dick, you stared at every ass, you placed your fingers places they shouldn't be. You did all these things except for try to learn and grow thyself. You see trees grow and blossom. You see bushes grow and blossom. You see children glow, grow and blossom. But you, you decided to be a stubborn rock that wouldn't budge unless it had to do with filthiness. That's what Judgment Day is going to consist of. Hmm? That's sad. That's sad. How many fakes can you count on one hand? This is why people don't hit like button, because they don't want everybody to know they wasted their fucking life. And I am said, moreover, to Moses, thus shalt uh, thou say unto the children of Israel, the uh, Ishi Elohim of your father, the Elohim of Abraham, the Elohim of Isaac, the Elohim of Jacob, 
is the same Elohim, and that's me. And you shall call me I am. And anybody has the power to open up Esword or get themselves and sure it's around here somewhere the Strong's Concordance. And you can look up that sentence in the Strong's Concordance, and it already tells you I does not translate. And the word that does not translate. So the only word in that sentence that translates is am. Adam, here, or am. I'm not calling Adam God. But think about what am means. Hmm? Jethro Tool, are you present? He's not here today. Ferris Bueller, are you present? No, he's not here today. Lex Will, um, most of the time we would say here, right? Here, I am. Yeah. See how that works? And then he wrote his name all over the book. He said, I am this, I am that. When I promised I would do this to you, know that this is actually me in the form of what I told you I would be to you. I am. Anybody can sit there and say, I am is H1961. We already know it's 2331, 2330, right? All kinds of, right? Haya, to exist. That is God telling you over and over again, I exist. I exist. Why? What does the devil keep saying? What does the devil's henchman keep saying? He doesn't exist. The God of the earth is wicked and he's going to punish everybody, period. That's what they keep telling you. Hmm? Live it up while you got skin. Hmm? That's what they keep telling you. To abide by my rules. Remain in my word. Huh? To stand in righteousness. Hmm? Lie. Be in, be at, be situated. So, you've been tricked in the serving a false god all these people all these people with dark skin telling you cain sacrifice was the good sacrifice you're a fucking complete idiot if you listen to that piece of shit all they're trying to do is tell you to reject your birthright your israelite birthright is meaningless compared to their desire to be god that's all they're saying. And it's pathetic. Because your soul is really on the line. And that's the level of their selfishness. And we're all selfish. Don't be fooled. Everybody wants something for their efforts. Just like I make these videos, everybody wants something. Everybody does. The Most High is telling you he wants something too. <clears throat> so, it says, they were sitting on a cross from Jericho. We're on the brink of war with the Moabites, not the Midianites at this point. They were about to fight with Moab. And the Moabite king, Balak, right? He hired the sorcerer, Balaam to curse the Israelite soldiers from the peak of Mount Peor. But the Israelite God, the Most High, the Elohim of the Israelites, whom just so happens to be the Eloha of all, forced him to instead bless the Israelites encamped at Shittim. So, let me tell you how, how powerful the Most High is. He created this thing that we call 
craft or witchcraft. And any time somebody tries to use witchcraft to curse the Israelites directly, the Most High intervenes. That's how badass he is. Could you imagine you were at a gas pump and you tried to put gas in your car and the creator of the gas came and said, whoa, can't do it that way. Could you imagine that? You're at a 7-Eleven. You're getting some stupid ass slushy. Creator's slushy machine comes and says, you can't do it that way. You're opening your car door of your Cadillac and then Cadillac dude comes and says, I created that shit. You're not supposed to do it that way. I mean, think about what's being said there. Lord God, I want to curse the Israel. Why do you want to curse my children? What the fuck is wrong with you? Your tongue shall hang down to your chest. I love you. I love you, baby. Scooby dooby doo. What are you talking about, Lex? Don't worry, it's coming. All right, this angered the Most High, and he instructed Moses to massacre all the Israelite men who had done this. Moses passed on the instructions to the judges of Israel. It is not narrated whether the instructions were carried out, though it's very well narrated whether the instructions are carried out. That's why the plague comes. In verse 6, the narrative suddenly shifts. The Israelite man, Zimri, brings a Midianite woman, Bill Cosby's daughter, Cosby. Mm -hmm. If you read the book of Jashir, Obi-Wan Kenobi's name is in the beginning of the book. Jackie Onassis, her family name is uh, Potiphar. Uh, Potiphar's what? Is it Daniel? It's not Daniel, it's Joseph. Joseph is dealing with Pontiffer. Now, Pontiffer has a wife. Her name is Onassis. You think that's a last name today? And we call it the Onassis. The book of Jashir has so many secrets. It's just un unbelievable. So here's Bill Cosby's family. Bill Cosby. Now remember, Median is from Abraham and Keturah. So Cosby is from Keturah's family. Sons of Abraham, just not the children of Jacob. See, Bill Cosby ain't no fucking Moabite. He ain't no Edomite. The king of comedy was Median. So saith his last nameth. So Cosby, daughter of the Midianite king Zer. So is Bill Cosby related to the king Zer? To the Israelite camp. So he brings the, the king's daughter to the camp, starts banging her right in front of everybody, and a plague. Uh -huh. Is said you have hit has just come right out of her, right? And the Israelites that left, right, uh, left 2,400 dead. Phineas killed Zamari and Bill Cosby's daughter, or Bill Cosby's you know, relative, ending the plague. The most high claim that that Cosby's family brought this plague upon the Israelites and told them to treat the Midianites as enemies and kill them. I think they left the word all out. In the next chapter, it says nothing about the incident at Peor, except that the plague had passed. The Most High instructs Moses and his priest Eleazar to take a census among the Israelites because so many have just died, settling an inheritance dispute and the future secession of Moses by Joshua, instructing the Israelites how to conduct certain sacrifices and festivals. This is the most important shit. Remember, the Most High taunts us, you haven't spent 40 years in the fucking wilderness sacrificing to me, so why should I turn my head to you? 
We went one year. We haven't even gone consecutively. If it's not the people, it's the fucking society. If it's not society, it's the weather. It's always some kind of damn excuse because why? Is he making challenges for us or is he telling us not yet? Our children have to suffer the 40 years in the wilderness. We are filth. Can wicked teach their seed huh? righteousness? This poses a question in the Old Testament. It was the challenge to this generation. Three generations of men worshiping the Most High, and he'll what? He'll return to you. Grandpa with his son and his son's son. We have that today. We have men alive that are grandparents that have children and their children have children, but they don't worship the Most High. We do not have an entire bloodline alive worshiping the Most High in his true form, in his true instruction to Israelites. We have that worshiping Christianity. What a shame. And in numbers, huh? 28 and 29, you regulated vows between men and women and fathers and daughters. Oh, wait. I thought the Bible camps say if you lay with a woman, that's your wife. That is the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard. If you lay with a woman, that's your wife, uh, then what's, 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 what's the woman that you have out back in an outhouse and you fuck her and she lives in an outhouse, she's on your property, concubine? So you, why is it called a concubine if you're fucking her, right? Why didn't that, see, how they poison us? And here's your marriage files, right? And you got these dumbass dudes running around saying, I'm an Israelite and all I have to do is fuck you and we're married. So there's no document of property. See, we live in a time where women aren't considered property, they're considered equals, but on paper, women are property. That's why if you catch your wife fucking somebody else, you can shoot them both dead and you won't go to jail because they'll call it passion. That's why they say we're equals now, so they'll allow the woman to do the same thing. And you know before, women were the booty. So, right, we have reached the time that a woman will encompass a man. A woman will share the same position that a man does. Hmm? And you don't want to admit that. And I see some 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 chump ass dude with testicles in the comments. You're still smoking and you're still doing this. What does it say about Indians and tobacco? You're still a fucking Edomite. And you're still over here like you got some regulation against me. Like you got some authority over me. Everybody knows my motherfucking address. The next time you want to get feminine in the comments, remember, you can come to my house. And I'll set you straight. It won't take me long to do it. Dear male, don't come on the channel acting like a fucking vagina. Crying about some cigarettes or some way somebody talk. You don't teach nobody shit. And all you do is steal from people. Come in here running your fucking little mouth. Verse 2, 
He reminds Moses to take revenge on the Midianites and instructs him in numbers. This as his last act before his death. All right. The war, the Israelite soldiers are narrated to have killed all the Midianite men, including the five kings, as well as Balaam. They took the livestock, the camps of the plains of Moab, by the Jordan, across from Jericho, where Eliezer, where Moses and Eliezer received them. Again, that Moabite desert in Utah, it ain't shit, it's fake. Fake. Again. If this is the only place on the face of the earth that has the fucking temple measurements, this is the fucking temple. And Moab ain't on another continent. Egypt is not on another continent. And the land of Canaan is all around. Because Canaan went to the land that was given to Shem. And right there in this is the fucking worship of the golden calf. They fed you lies. They fed you hot air. That's your shit. This is your shit. It's up. It's it's a. It's on top of a fucking mountain. Negroes don't. Well, what we call Negroes, they don't go in water. You don't see them swimming. They climb mountains, like deer, like goats, like bucks. That's the temple. That's the barren wasteland. What is they going to be at the temple soon when it's destroyed? Owls? Satyrs? It's monsters. It's all right there. All in Asia. Where they got all the stories of all the creepy shit. Stop letting people lie to you. Your mind is yours. Nobody, you can't blame nobody else. You can't even blame the person that fucking lied to you because you accepted it. Huh. So you fuck somebody and you get STD. Is it their fault or your fault? Everybody stood over you saying, protect yourself. Pick a good partner. Protect yourself. Use condoms. Protect yourself. This and that. If you learn lies and you preach lies, it's your fault. You had the same shit between your ears that everybody else did. You had the same shit in your heart that everybody else did. You have the same opportunities as, as I do. That's what I tell you. Listen, don't you see a problem with society that all these people that don't broadcast shit say don't use wikipedia yet you still get the right answers out of wikipedia that's the problem people let their mind be used like a community washer and dryer anybody can turn on your spin cycle and then you dizzy, and then you mad. Killing and capturing children and non-virgin women. All right, we already understand. Now kill all the boys, kill every woman who has slept with a man. Save for yourself the girls who have never slept with a man. All right. Ritual purification. This is the non-baptism, where they washed all their uh, themselves and their objects. Okay. So again, there is no baptism in Levitical law. None whatsoever. None, 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 none. All it is, is he instructed the soldiers. Now, Eleazar is now the Levite because he has killed Phineas for fucking in front of everybody. 
everybody's seen, everybody's shit, like it was a porno. So Eliezer said, fuck that, and he stabbed them both in one spear shot. He instructed the soldiers to wash their ass, to purify themselves. The captives, wash the captives, and all objects. If you take cattle, wash the cattle. All objects that they had over a period of seven days. That means seven straight days. They went, they bowed down, they got prayed over, and they went in the river, and they scrubbed their ass. No man stood over him saying, blah, 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 Vester, dunk. None of that shit happened. They got prayed to, and then they went to scrubby, scrubby, and washy, washy, all the shitty, shitty, they hatty, hatty. All of it. Objects mentioned are the clothes. They scrubbed their clothes. All objects are leather. Leather. They scrub the shit out of their leather. If they had something made of goat hair or wood, they scrubbed that for seven fucking days. All metal objects. That's their weapons. You ever see anybody getting a, get into a bath, give them tub with objects? No, just, just garments. All you need is yourself, right? Because this is about all the poor. No, it's not. It's about that ritual you see, uh, in that Greek movie, uh, with Xerxes, uh, and becoming a new man, uh, for the dead. Oh, what? Damn. The Israelites took all their fucking objects and scrubbed them, including their cattle, everything they took from somebody else. During a war with heathen. Well, the heathens tell you, no, you're going to get in this special gown. You're going to dunk yourself in the water. You're going to become somebody new. That's the same thing they said to Xerxes. That's the same thing Xerxes' witch sister said to him before he went to the cave and dunked himself in the chamber. And there was the pool. The vessel. You became a vessel for something else. Specifying that all fireproof objects had to be cleansed by both fire and water, the rest only by water. So you had to stick your sword back in the fire because it contained the blood of the enemy. And you had to wash and burn and wash and burn and wash and burn. What's the magic number? One, two, seven times. You go and you get dunked once and you come out and you're like, I'm supposed to be new. It's not till I drive home till something comes and goes right inside of you. And then your eyes become silent and you become. Because you gave yourself away. And that's what they teach you. Give yourself unto them of heaven. Disambiguation! So, you ever notice, you go to the top and it says, well, if you're looking for this, this is it. But if you're looking for this, you want this ambiguation. And I was like, how come every subject has a second subject? And then I started searching and then that's clicked. There's a sucker page. And then there's a disfigurement page. What? And when thy killeth the child of the fallen, there's ah, no place for his soul to go. So he disembodies. Ah, and he floats. Right? So disembodied figures have to have a place to go and they call that place heaven and they meet in their heaven and they have these meetings 
and they found a way to rise. And that is what is being said, because they are shape shifters. And if they're disembodied, then they can possess things. So the disambiguation is from the perspective of the disembodied figures, meaning the hidden ones or the children of the hidden ones. All right. So interpretation scholarly consensus is that the war did not take place it never happened certainly not as it was narrated because we wouldn't looked and we went, we couldn't even find a, a sword handle we couldn't find anything in the location that was said so we don't think it happened at all certainly not how it was written Scholarly consensus is that the war did not take place, not as it's narrated. Within the wider context of the Exodus, there probably never was an invasion of Canaan. The prop does, does this prove my point? That they got a bunch of books to try to say that the Bible don't exist. This is about number 31 and the heart and soul. See, this is modern writing, right? Everything that we read should be ancient, but they keep adding modern shit. And modern writers keep saying, never happened. Your birthright doesn't exist. That's what they keep saying to you. You don't have a birthright. Not that you're being punished for your birthright. That it just doesn't exist. None of this stuff ever happened. Not in the way that it's written. So, this is your demons. Going against the word of God, going against history. To keep you complacent and a stupid little fuck that what, contains yourself in your apartment, your house. That you don't look for these places. And you certainly don't find these places. And that's the goal. Because you were given something that they were not. And it's not by your actions. Right now, it's just in your blood. You have to plug yourself back into the Most High, and it awakens. I made you as gods. That means me and you hold the same power as the tallest one of them. But without our connection to the Most High, we're just mortals. And we will die a mortal life. Unless we change and we bow and we serve. And we hold the holy days. Because if we don't, we will perish. And it will be for naught. Our individual existence. We will just be talked about as trash that needed to be swept into a river. To be disposed of. Now, all this shit is stupid. There's nothing that really needs to be uh, read from this point on. Let me pause this real quick. So, there is one more thing. I want to show you. They, they put your little black leader up here, Al Sharpton, of all things. Debating Baptist piece of... Trash Minister Al Sharpton in 2007, atheist writer Christopher Hitchens argued. So both of them are arguing that the binding of Isaac and the extermination of the Amicalites, Amalek's people, were immoral divine commandments in the Old Testament. 
You understand what they just said. They said that God's choice was immoral. That's Al Fat Ass Sharpton that steals all that money from you. And then makes money going on CNN or MSNBC, right, to, to tell you fake news. Would it be so hard to say if you shaved his head, he'd look like an Arab? If it, if it make anybody better, if I put Zamorin up there and you see that they got straight hair and I put Al Sharpton's face up there and you see his hair straight, would you realize Al Sharpton is not black in, in, in in, in what you think black is, he's not you. He's a Canaanite that has dark skin and he's ruling over you and has been for years, right? So why not? Let us do that. Since we have come to a place where we have learned some extra, right? We can just type Z and it will... He'll do the rest, right? The Morin, right? Or the Marite, right? But we don't want, we just type in this and we take this out. And you see it's tumor, tanner, right? It's okay. We'll get to that. And there's the Cali cut, right? And then we want Mr. Owl, right? Fowl, the big fat bird. Mr. Slickback himself isn't a black man with an afro. He isn't, he's a dark-skinned Arab dude. He ain't never had no fucking afro. Now you see, this is what the most high, uh, right? This is what Vincent calls the most high's high, high diet. When people betray the most high, he gives them what, internal problems. You, you can see, right? This is Al Sharpton. See the men here with the Afro? Different ethnicity. See him with slick hair? You think he's doing his hair. Not on the level that you think. He's not burning his hair. Again, when you look at the image of the Zamorin, And you look at Al Sharpton. It's not that different. You see, Al Sharpton, the Afro. Hmm? That's as close as he gets to an Afro. That's this hair. Right? With no, what? No feathery? Every man, woman, and child that grow their hair big and poofy has the ability of Afro. It's just that the Afro of the people that we call Negro is uniquely different than all other people's hair. There's a man with an afro standing next to him. Hmm? Now he done lost all the color in his hair. Hmm? Him and James Brown. Hmm? What did it say right there? Boss man. So Chadwick Bosman is what a, a Moabite from the descendant of Bozer. Baal. Bior. And once once you accept the truth, now look at how all this shit fall apart. Now Chaz McBo Chadwick, he looked just like you. Except for from his last name, you know right now he's Moab. He shares the same name as the first king. It should say Borman. 
which shows you, right? Borman would be another name of Moab from the rulership that ruled over Edom. Now, now you see what this shit is, the T'Challa shit. Hmm? Their hidden city. Um, in, Welcome to the jungle! We got fun and games! Their hidden city in the fucking jungle. Virginia. The booty. The virgins. You could never sit face to face with me and tell me when it's said like that, it's a lie. No man could telling themselves in their in their heart that they're being honest. You know, right now, I don't. I just, I just, I, I nabbed the jackpot. I told you I understood it all. Now I just shared it with you. Now you understand it all. I told you they rule over you. You support them while watching their movies. Buying into their entertainment. Accepting the programming in the entertainment. Because that's really what it is. It's the art of psychology. Because you're in a leisure state. And what happens when you relax? The alpha you goes away. <laughs> and beta ray bitch you comes out. And just like you, I love me some leisure. But I told you, under leisure, I'm the greatest bitch. I don't want to be that. I don't. So I'm staying on the road that I can see clearly. So let's get rid of Bjor. We don't need Zer. Zer had to deal with Bjor. Uh, Zer dealt with numbers. All right. And so let's go into Midian. So, and this should clean up a lot of shit for everybody. So this is for Midian. Now, see this disambiguation? That has to do with the disembodied figures. And this is about where I realized what was going on, that they constantly, you know, the Vatican communicate with those who are underneath the earth in what they call their heaven or their haven. It's just a haven. It's not heaven, it's haven, which means a home. So. Again, they're disembodied spirits that were supposed to wander the earth. And what they're doing is they're breaking the law and they're not wandering. They're congregating in one position. And they're calling that Olympus under the ground. And there's many tunnels that lead to them. There are men that made their way down in the flesh. And I think those men are being used. I think their bodies are being used as vessels for when the prince came those men that already died they rose to greet him gas spirits gas they don't rise flesh rises i think the greeks went to the center of the earth and they got used i think they got used as vessels I think they got tricked with the Olympic Games. And they brought the winners, the physic, the most physically fit. They brought the winners down and then took their bodies. Now it says, May Madian, right? Romanized, that's the Roman name for it. Greek, Madim, see it, Daim, so they consider them. Right? Daim, prince, crown. It's a geographical place. And it's, uh, 
so many states that it's in the Northwest Arab Peninsula. I don't believe any of this shit because it's all dis. It's 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 it's, it's to trick you. The Red Sea is probably going to be that place between Alaska that bridges what we call Russia today and America. That's most likely the Red Sea, the place where ice can form and you can walk across the ice. Now, he says it's... Uh, This is all, that's all lies. According to Genesis, Midianites were the descendants of Midian was the son of Abraham and his wife Keturah. Abraham took a wife after the death of Sarah and her name was Keturah and she bare him Zimran, Jakshan, Midan, and Midian, and Is, Ishbak, and Shua. So, land or tribal league. So they're asking, is Midian a land or it is, is it a league of the brothers of the sons of Abraham and Keturah? That's basically what they're asking. Land or league, some scholars suggest, is, does not refer to geographical places or a specific tribe. Well, again, that just doesn't sound right, does it? But to a confederation or a league. So again, I would suggest if the Bible tells you this happened, believe the Bible. I would suggest that they're trying to tell you something so you do not be, you're not you're not able to find them as easy. So in religion, it's uncertain which deities the Midianites worship. Although their apparent religio-political connection with the Moabites, they are thought to have worshipped a multitude, including Baal Peor. Now that's after Baal dies, and then he becomes a demon on the seventh blah, blah, blah of heaven. Maybe I shouldn't have turned Baal off, or Bior. Maybe I shouldn't have destroyed Bior, so we can go back to that. So I do have numbers up. That's where it was. Uh, finding it back in numbers, just to highlight it again, is a headache. Uh, Wait, what did it say? We were looking for ALPR. Spelled wrong. Oh. She is right there. So bitch. Oh. <clears throat> so again, they're saying that's the only one that, that, that comes up. That's down there in the notes. That's, that's not where it's at. It doesn't matter. We already. All right. So here's Amari. And the Cosby is the woman. And Zim, Zer, is their city. All right. Something about that. That's why Zer was there. Anyway, let's just get back with it. As you can see, Baal Peor uh, is one of the people that they worshipped. Uh, Queen of Heaven, Astaroth. According to Carvel, uh, the 14th century, the cult of Yahweh had reached Israel. Groups of Edomite, Midianite, worshipping Yahweh as their God. That should say it all. If you're going to sit here and say, God is Yahweh, how do you have other nations worshiping Yahweh and they're not calling Yahweh the Most High here? They're showing you they're worshiping a pantheon of deities and not the Most High. They're worshiping the hosts, not the highest of the hosts. So, again, this conclusion is based on the identification between the Midianites and the Shah. Sha'asu, right? So, the Egyptian Temple of Hathor uh, at Timna can continue to be using during the Midianite, Midianite occupation at the site. Uh, they discovered post holes and yellowed clay, whatever. Midian was 
son of Abraham, Abraham's great grandson, uh, Joseph, after being thrown in the pit by his brothers, they were sold to either the Midianites or Ishmael. Oh, it clearly said it was sold to Ishmael, and then Ishmael sold it to Midian. And then Midian was going to Egypt, and they sold him to Egypt. See, it's not hard. To, you got 15 books that say the exact same thing. So somebody to write it up here half-assed like this to try to say, we don't think it happened. It tells you the mentality of them. So when they reveal their mentality, and then they sit there and tell you something true, when you know they don't want to admit anything at all, then you know you got something. Now, during the Bial Peor episode, the Moabite women seduce Israelite men. Zamari, the son of Simon, Simon, Simonite, chief, got involved with the Midianite woman, Cosby. The couple were speared by Phineas. The war followed. Numbers 31 reports the war. The war. Here it shows you the people of Midian are, men Midian are mentioned in the Quran. Madian appears. So again, the name Midian, pronounced as Madian, is Romanized, which should tell anybody fucking watching that the Talmud is a Roman book. Huh? Excuse me. The Quran if it's the Romanized name may the Quran's Roman it's a Roman book they're just trying to trick people it appears ten times in it people are called the ah Schwab ash or excuse me yeah ash Abu Ashabu so that is the same name that they had up here without an A, right? Wherever it was, I don't care anymore. Ah, uh, so it says companions of the woods. Okay. Now that could mean forest. That could be a people who last name woods. Who knows? At this point, but for sure is 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 probably talking about the wilderness all right i didn't feel there was too much in this um we did transoxia okay so this takes us to balaam now all right now balaam son of Bior, all right, and watch every time Bior is brought up here, they never show a link to to go to Bior. Like they're they're always trying to hide Bior because under Bior they told you directly he is Moab. They're always trying to hide who Balaam is. So, brought up in Numbers 22, ancient reference to Balaam considers him a non-Israelite. Again, he's a prophet and the son of Bior. King Balak of Moab offers him money to curse Israel. Um, that makes him a wizard or a witch or a sorcerer. That doesn't make him a prophet. So you see, as God watching, excuse me, as the Elohim over Israel watches, that is the Eloha, who is the highest of highs. You can clearly see right here, they trying to lie to you. So it's all right here, right? He ain't no prophet. He's a fucking witch, a wizard. <clears throat> now, but Balaam blesses Israel instead as dictated by the Eloha. Nevertheless, he is revealed as a wicked man. Have you ever heard of a wicked prophet? Me neither. In both the Torah, all right? So, according to the book of Revelation, Balaam, Balaam told Balak, how to get the Israelites to commit sin by enticing them with sexually, sexual immoral, immorality and food sacrifices to idols. Now, you remember earlier, I told you they was leaving something out. It wasn't that the women had pastors or it wasn't that they was good looking. It was that they taught how to sacrifice food to idols. 
How do you sacrifice food to things that don't eat? I don't know, but that's what they were teaching. And God saw the problem, and he destroyed. The Israelites fell into transgression due to these traps. So the Most High sent a plague. So Balaam and Balak, and <clears throat> the story, Balaam occurs during the sojourn of the Israelites in the plains of Moab, east of the Jordan, at the close of 40 years of wandering, shortly before the death of Moses and crossing the Jordan. The Israelites have already defeated two kings. In the, it says Trans Jordan, but I believe it's the Trans Oxiana, the king of Shion, Shion, Amorites, and Og, right? I know. Og's den, all that good shit. Giants found over here. Again, all that makes sense to a degree. Where is the land of Canaan? Where is the cave of Machpelah? Look for these caves in the United States. They don't exist. Oh, they could exist. They could name them something else. Okay, you have every right to go and search that shit out. But for the final time, they name that shit. Now, did giants come over here and bring those names? Very well could have. Again, think about the water table. Think of how everything flows west. Isn't that weird? This is America, northeast, southwest, right? Let's say this is the east. Let's just write east on there. This is the west. Let's write west on there. Isn't it weird? You already know this is north. You already know this is south, right? So hard to draw S with a marker on paper towel. You already know that's how it's going to be. If this is, Virgi this is Virginia, how come all the water flowed down? This is going to make sense to you soon. UB News already taught you, taught you the water table. Least resistance. There ain't no point in America where all the water flowed to one point. Overseas, where does all the water flow? Does it flow from the east to the west? That means it's duplicated. But here's the problem. When you write east, south, north, west, and you say one's America and one's the Orient, can't use Asia because that's an A2. Let's say this is the Orient and this is America. America's east set over here, and the other one's east set over here. What happens if you stack them on top of each other? It all flows down. Oh, fuck, I solved it! I solved it! I'm still recording. We gonna stop that for a second. Oh, shit. What do you know? So, consequently, becomes alarmed, sends elders of Midian, blah, blah, blah. This isn't shit. Basically, look, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm, we're at two hours. When you keep reading about Balaam, when he tries to curse the Israelites, his fucking tongue grows long. I've never heard anything like this. <laughs> it's so funny. I, I, I've never heard anything like this. Oh, so we're going to F, we're going to control F this. If it wants to work, and we're going to say tongue. We're going to spell it right. Tongue. Okay. 
if it had been our will, this is what the Arabs say, if he'd have followed our shit, right? Uh, and he tried, because his similitude is that of a dog. If you attack him, he rolls out his tongue. If, if you leave him alone, he still rolls out his tongue and pants like a fucking dog, right? Muslim commenters explain Balin was a Canaanite. He's not a Canaanite. He's a fucking Moabite who went over to Canaan. Oh, that's why it's important to read this stuff. Okay, see, let me go back up. Nope, that's where it all starts. All right. Balin in the Quran, and we're skipping the New Testament, and we're skipping. None of this stuff has it. All right. Sorry, I'm just reading some of this stupid shit. Yes, a lot of it is stupid. It's just to trick people. Muslim commenters explain that Ba'alim was a Canaanite who had been given knowledge of some of the books of God. His people asked him to curse Moses and those who were with him. But he said, how can I curse one who has angels with him? And they continue. So now they're claiming he can see angels, right? Remember. They are liars. Remember, Balaam is riding a donkey. The donkey stops and says, hey, dumbass, don't you see the angel? It's pointing the sword at you, about to kill you. The fucking donkey talks. Balaam didn't see the angel. So him looking at Moses, see, this is what they're saying. They're saying he, he can see Moses. He's standing in a position he can actually see Moses. And then he's saying, I, I can see angels standing around him. Yet, when he's riding a donkey, the donkey stops and says, Hey, stop trying to get me to go forward. There's an angel right in front of you with a sword about to slay you. So he couldn't see angels. It's another lie. <clears throat> so, Moab is but liars. They're telling you this is Moab book. <clears throat> when Edom is up in Rome, ruling Rome, where is Moab? Moab is playing Arab, okay? Moab eventually comes into Spain and starts playing Arab. Who invited Moab to come play Arab in Spain? Wouldn't it be Edom? Like I said, once you start to have these pieces, it all fall together. With these pieces missing, it don't make sense. Now with these pieces, sky's the limit. Sky is the limit. Okay, so they continued to press him, however, until he cursed the Israelites. And so again, this again, well, I can see angels next to him. I ain't gonna do it. So he so he did it anyway. As a again, he couldn't see shit. As a consequence, the remainder 40 years in the wilderness. So they're trying to say the Israelites who would not listen to the most high, who the most high punished them by killing off that generation so he could work with the next generation. Now they're saying no, that's nothing to do with it, right? Balim actually cursed him and they stayed in the year in the wilderness 40 years because of Balim. Really? Now, can you not see when it deals with religion, they people or they people's leadership as a whole is just liars? There is no religion. Rely Eon. Rely on Eon. Ayasan. Don't you see? It's a fucking word game. We legion. We in allegiance. We in alliance. Psalms 83. Over and over and over. And over again, they're going through rituals to make you think it's rely on. It's not. 
they're stealing from you. When you lived in the old world, they're stealing your shit. Now you live in the new, they're stealing your shit. Again, to escape the old world, Most High sent you here to go on your course until he was ready to bring them here. To what? To put you in captivity. All right, so when he had cursed Moses, his tongue came out and fell upon his breast, and he began to pant like a dog. Story told by Therese, somewhat more biblical, Balaam had the knowledge of the most sacred name of the Most High. Again, I am that I am is not a name. It is a title. It has been given to the Israelites forever. They are not to use the name of the Most High. It has not been given to them. You will use my title until I show my face and tell you my... What happens when you meet someone face to face? You intra-fucking-douche yourself. Again, does anything in this Bible say street nigga? Does anything in this book say street nigga mentality? Even the people that are fucking online with you of their ethnicity are pretending to be street nigga to keep you at a dumb level. They have their real voice. And it's, yo, nigga, they got their fake voice that they fuck with you with. And then you sit there and you take that shit and then you and make it into your culture. A culture of fucking pure ignorance. You want to get mad because society is leaving you behind. They fucking left you when they started this society. So, Balaam had the sacred name, uh, the knowledge of the sacred name of God, and whatever he asked God would grant him. You know, that's a lie. And the story of Balaam and the ass then follows at length when. Uh, is, when it came to the cursing, God turned his tongue so that the curse fell upon his own people. Making your fucking tongue long does not turn someone's tongue that it falls. They're just making shit up. Now, why do they keep saying he had a long tongue? That becomes the moral question of the issue. <clears throat> according to Al Tabri, according to another story which Al Tabri gives, again, who is Al Tabri? Is it a man given two different versions of the same fucking story? Is it a book given two different stories of this? It's 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 it should be clear if you got two story, two versions of the same story, one is a lie. So we gonna share both? What's to say both ain't lies? Oh, Balaam was a renegade Israelite. Now he's Israelite. Fuck off, dude. All right, so here's a, a Baghdadi historian, Al Muzi, uh, said in his book, Metals of Gold. Bel Peor was from the village of the land of Shem. He is the son of Bara, who was Bor, right? Son of Moab, son of Lot. So there we have it right there. Now, why did I give you these other two fucking clips, right? Just to waste your time. Now imagine the size of this article. If this shit wasn't there, and this shit wasn't there, and this shit wasn't there, and this shit wasn't there, right? All that is a lie, right? This is the only thing that's in the Quran that's true. Who he is from. He is a Moabite. All right, so that ends that one, and then that takes us to Baal. Now, the rest I'm just going to do really quick. We'll get to it another day. Baal, Haddad. Okay, so, all right, so now it starts, you know, who's Baal? You know, because, you know, Baal is the son of fucking Baalim, right? 
I hope you understand that. <gasps> Baal can't mean Lord if he is the fucking son of another man that was born from a vagina. Baal or Baal. All right, so you go into Baal. You know, I really can't remember if there's anything of any importance in here, right? See, see, disem do you see what the disembodied spirits say for it? That's what disambiguation means, right? The disembodied have a different view of it because they're not, he's not lowered to the disembodied spirits. They know what's going on and he's under them. That's why when he's considered a demon, it's Baal Fior, right? He's on the position of one of the seven levels of hell. Well, they're at the place, they're at the crowning position of the levels of hell. They're not on one of those seven levels. They're in a haven that they call heaven, that they call Olympia, which is under, presumably, it's somewhere under Greece. So, it was the title of the honor, uh, meaning honorific owner, right? That's all it means, owner. So, Listen close. Scholars previously associated the Theonium with the solar cults. Okay? Solar cults. And with a variety of unrelated Patreon deities, but inscriptions have shown that the name Baal was particularly associated with the storm and fertility god Hadad. Now, after 10 years of this bullshit, I already know I got the answer I'm looking for. Looking at the rest of this shit is to waste my time and to make my mind disambiguous of the situation that made me type this in. That's what it's about. It's about confusing me to where I forget why I... That is what Wikipedia does. You have to be... I'd hate to say this. I'm not really saying that I am. You have to be a master of the mind, and I'm not a master of the mind. Or this portion of the mind to get around this. The Hebrew Bible includes the term in reference to various Levitine deities, often the application towards Hadad, who was, who was decried as a false god. Okay, so they just gave us a false god to fucking worship, right? So, who decided... Hadad was worth worshiping. <clears throat> so, here we type in Hadad. He is the god of the weather, storms, rain, thunder. If we go to Baal, it's going to say the same thing. If we go to Zeus, it's going to say the same thing. If we go to fucking Thor, it's going to say the same goddamn thing. <laughs> There's a man walking around that can control storms. You hear your boat coming in? Bullshit. Now, entities control storms. So if you got a man that's buddy-buddy with the spirit of the water, meaning he fucks an entity, then he can talk her into creating a storm. And he can fool people in that moment into believing he is controlling that shit. When in reality, he walked a ways in the wilderness by himself and some entity manifested itself, shapeshift. And then they, and then he just says, hey, do me a favor, because we do it. Other than that, he's just a man. And as a man, he can't control shit. He can't control his heart. He can barely control his thoughts. You're a man, and you're going through the same things. Just nobody's going around telling everybody you can control storms. It's all a fucking lie. So right here, it gives it away, right? The god Teshub. We've been down to Teshub already, right? Oh, this is just terrible, right? Is the Hurrian. Hadad Hurrian, God of Sky, Thunder. It's the same dude. Hittatic, Hittatic, Hittic, Hittites, Canaanites. So it's just the same fucking dude. Hadad was introduced to Mesopotamia by the Amorites. Oh, so the Most High had us destroy the Amorites for creating a false god and it's spreading like wildfire through. 
we had a freeze through Psalms 83 of all these nations that are trying to destroy us because they all worship a form of Hadad. I mean, Zeus. I mean, Baal. I mean, Hadad. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and when you see, here's where it gives it away. They call this nigga daddy, a dad, a daddy, papa, pope. See the fucking hats, the conical hats, just like the, just like the KKK, right? Don't they got the beards like the Persians? Uh, all right, it's the fuck, it's our brothers. Fucking Persians. Hey, uh, Cyrus, if you fucking go and do this thing for me, I will give you the greatest of the dark shadows. Remember when we read that odd line? Huh? And if you do this for me, I will give you the dark power of the shadows. Here we are. And uh, this is his fucking symbol. So back then they were writing about him. And today we call that shit uh, Pindar or Rapa Nui or Baal or Zephon. And Baal, Zephon, that's Zepho. So I started this shit in the book of Jashir. That took me in a 360 right back to Zepho. I said, fuck, you're wasting my goddamn life. You're fucking keeping me here reading these goddamn interweave circles so I don't fucking go out and fu in, 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 period. You're keeping me here fucking secluded under a goddamn rock. Why? Because of wrath. Well, I understand, but I do not accept. I accept the most high, I accept the I do not accept his position. I didn't get my fucking hands dirty back then. Any man that's got enough sense knows in the book of Deuteronomy, you cannot be judged by your father. So you can argue the contract, but if you argue the fucking contract, you are not Israel anymore. And this is his stipulation. It's the loophole. What is it when you kick somebody out of your family? Disowned. To argue the contract with Abraham was unlawful means disownership. It means you're dead. You die like the Gentiles. Fire. You accept or you fucking burn. It's how simple it is. Her dad was equated with Zeus. Jupiter, that's the same fucking right? Tishub, set. So wait a second. They're telling you right now. These are the same names. Over and over again. There is no, none of these people exist. Hadad is Zeus. Hadad is this. Hadad is this. Hadad is set of fucking Egypt. It's all the same. Then I said Hadad, disambiguation. And then, of course. All right, the middle family of the East, Aramaic, and when we started reading all this, it said fucking Aramaic, right? Aram. And I said, why is Aram's name coming up? It doesn't make sense. I sat there, and I was looking at the Nilab, Nilab River. Right, and they gave us all these different names for it, and it brought up Aram. And I was like, why? Aramic. Imagine you're Aram. Hmm. And here comes, right? Abraham with this great story, these great feats. And he says, right? Oh man, this is bad. 
let's not even take that road here let's take this road so you see there's just a bunch of different hadads this is the same one no so hadad zeus right so everybody should just see it right here all right hadad is zeus hadad is Jupiter. he's thor he's indra they're just changing the fucking name there is no zeus there is no baal as lord baal is saying he is hadad at that contemporary time they're all worshiping a fucking moabite good job moab no bullshit good job now this is why all these things have happened to moab this is why it says god says moab is a lie this is why God says, I blow farts at Moab through my harp. <laughs> but he doesn't hate Moab. He loves this shit. That's why he keeps on fucking hitting the buildings and the monuments. But he hates Edom. And Moab, through your nobility over Edom, only the nobles, the one that sits on the throne. Then he inherently hates the nobility of Moab. So I'm pretty sure you're going to have a bunch of sorry ass people in here saying, oh, that's not true. And they know not to come in. They'll get blocked. So they'll go on to the other platforms and they'll say shit. And uh, it's okay. See, it says 11 more rows. All these are nations that have other names for Hadad. Right? Somewhere in here is, is all the names for them. Right? There should just be a list. I'm sorry. I don't see the list. I'm giving up. Excuse me. I don't know why they just did that. They just more rows, eleven more rows. I want to see the more rows. Again, this signifies there are more names for him. That means somewhere in history we're calling some other someone that didn't exist. Zeus didn't exist, Poseidon didn't exist, Hayes didn't exist, it's Hadad and his fucking brothers, or his contemporaries, and they found a way underground. So, again, in Egypt, he's fucking set. In Greek, he's Zeus. You already know Zeus and Jupiter are the same. So, it's just different areas on a map calling his ass different names pindar rapping rap you you know that's rapanui so i think we're done here this is all going to lead back to ash benapal ash banapal Right, Ash Ban Asher Banapal, the great king of Assyria. Right, and this leads to the fake name A H or E H in Hebrew is Fem in in. I learned this from a woman who considered me not whole. Huh? She was very good with the book to say, oh, you're not an Israelite. So she wouldn't teach anybody who wasn't, huh? Black parents? Meaning it didn't matter if your parents was from India. It didn't matter if your parents was from Korea. She was brain fucked to where she was racist. She's brain fucked to where she, she sits there and says on screen. Now, she won't come out and say it, but you can hear it. If you're not this, right? And that's Willie Lynch. 
Yet you show there's a scripture that says Ephraim will mix with Judah and then that mixture will mix with the world. She don't read that Bible. Just specific places of choice. So let's say her puzzle piece is good. We have no evidence. Let's just say it. So Ahia Asher is actually what? It's Asher Banapal. Yeah, that'd be a good time to come on here and say all you Bible camps are evil. You already know that. You play that Moabite game, that Edomite game. Don't bring up their name because when you bring up their name, it gives you power. And for me, it's the reverse. When I bring up your name, it takes your power. So, again, Ricar, Nathaniel. Oh, God, you got it. Y'all didn't spoil your name. Once you have members murdering your own members, you're fucking named to shit. There's, there's no point in bringing you guys up. I should actually rewind the video and erase that I even brought your name up. All these camps are teaching you lies. But that's okay. Because you already know if they were teaching you Christ, they were fake. And you sat there and you fucking kept giving them fucking views, monies, encouragement. Judgment Day, what is the most high going to do with you? Hmm? If those are the enemies of most high and you gave them all this, he's not going to have anything to do with you. Because he already knows how you're going to act. If there was ever a rebellion amongst those that he chose to keep, you would go against him. And you would match the Ten Commandments, those that hate me, because that would be, you were actually hiding your face until that moment. He would reveal it to him. So, you know, I'm kind of glad for all this. I truly am. Look, <clears throat> I'm done. Um... I, I've I've really wrestled with making any of these videos anymore. Um, the no, the donations have have pretty much um, stopped. Uh, thank you for the I think it's the uh, Strokes family, uh, the Brown Vincent family. Uh, thank you. We had a, we had a, we had a, we had a fair time in February with the donations. I'm tired of coming on here asking for donations. I put in fucking hours and, and, and I have nothing to show for it. soon everything that has been programmed in me to build I will have it will take nothing for me at this point to achieve my programming design You have sat back, and you have watched me do these things from afar. You have gone to different platforms. You have talked shit about me. You have said, I'm this, I'm that. I'm half of this. I'm half of that. I'm not this. You can say anything you want. What did Most High program you to build? What did the Most High program you to do? Now I chose number seven. That if you did the right paint job and you held it upside down, you can make lines coming up here as it was candlesticks. The helmet is the menorah.
thank you to the people that have been there for me. You know as well as I do, you've been there for my family. You know as well as I do, I've used these donations to further a lot of this skill. It's a skill that I grew up with. As life goes on, you know, you separate from some things, you get back with some things. As I've gotten back with these, it is it has reminded me of my childhood. So thank you. Thank you to the family of the Joneses. Thank you to the family of the Harrises. Uh, you know, some of these people have said, hey, do not bring up our, you know, our names. You know, um, Harris can mean a name anywhere. Uh, fucking all these names can mean a name anywhere. So again, thank you to the Joneses. Thank you to the Browns. Even the ones that have been a problem or viewed as a problem, because all of this has been momentary. All momentary. Thank you to the donors that have been from different ethnicities. Especially Heather. I, I, I imagine it's hard to sit here and hear half the white this and white that and still donate. I appreciate all you. Uh, Lady Ish, um, look, I don't have records in front of me. And for the most part, the last name you see is the last that you remember. The Bickman family. So many of you have helped us. We're almost there. May those that bless you be blessed. May those that curse you be cursed. Shalom.